Hi guys, and thanks for stopping by. It's been a while, and I've been uh, busy trying to realize a crankcase project, as you know from the previous episodes. So I spent a lot of hours in front of the computer making the models, as you saw, and then I uh, exported those to my machinist, my very good friend at Mustbuys Mechaniska, and he has um, done a lot of work with it, but. Um, it's not as easy as just uh, snapping your fingers uh, and then all of a sudden you have a billet crankcase. I mean, that would be ridiculous if it was only to do... Uh... Apparently, uh, that's all there is to it. So, finally, uh, here is the crankcase and it's milled out of uh, solid blocks and uh, it is consisting of... a. Uh, Right hand side, left hand side, and a transmission cover going all the way up to the head, and also uh, a cover for um, the clutch, and uh, one of my own uh, impeller covers, and there will also be another cover here on this side. So uh, I'll uh, talk you through it if you're interested. Tag along! <laughs> Here we are at Mosby's Advanced Machining. I wonder what they have cooking inside here. Let's take a, a little peek. Okay, here we are at where it's all happening. Here is Tobias. Say hi to the audience. Hello. <laughs> He's the, the mastermind behind all the machining here. And um, <clears throat> you can see also he's got a couple of uh, decent five axis machines in his shop. So uh, let's have a look what he's got here. There is something, something that's um, finished. Looks like a crankcase indeed. For, uh, for what does it say? Doctor C. Ah, must be mine. Uh, this is uh, the the right hand side. Uh, I think everything is completed here, except for uh, uh, the drilling, uh, which needs to be done after you have put the both both halves together. And uh, this is uh, the clutch cover, should be uh, anodized and uh, put a nice logo on. And uh, then uh, there is something here in the machine. That's uh, the left hand side, um, almost finished. Uh, so there is still, there is some hope that uh, this will be completed uh, and uh, I will have something to, uh, to race with.
most buys mechanical. And uh, that is uh, required some advanced machining to realize all these uh, complex uh, structures. Uh, but now it's here and uh, it's not uh, completely finished though. There are some, uh, some plugs and threads to make for oil channels, little, little here and there. And um, uh, crankcase ventilation and uh, of course then um, mounting bearings and, um, and seals and stuff. And uh, hopefully uh, it will uh, fit and um, everything is um, like it was supposed to. Otherwise this would be a really expensive ashtray. The crankcase is about 100, 120 degrees centigrade and uh, the bearings have been cooled in, uh, in the carbon dioxide. So these are minus, minus uh, 30 maybe. When the cam chain design is done like it's very very straight from sprocket to sprocket then uh, just uh, shaving off a little of uh, the top uh, of the cylinder or shimming off the cylinder head will cause a quite dramatic change in, in uh, cam chain tension. So uh, in this uh, case um, the cam chain was uh, awfully tense, almost possible, uh, impossible to uh, assemble and uh, now I shaved off uh, 0.2 millimeters of the cylinder deck and uh, now I got the proper tension or uh, slack but uh, this is what uh, 0.2 millimeters uh, lowering of the deck does to the cam chain tension or play so be careful when shimming off um, something from the cylinder head because it will cause a lot of uh, motion on the cam chain and uh, if you have something else uh, obstructing it might uh, hit, wear off aluminum and uh, give you aluminum chips in the oil and that is not desirable. taking the engine from a CAD model to a real live version, uh, assembling it. And uh, afterwards, uh, in the next video, I will show you how I um, uh, did some uh, work with the frame and put the engine in and uh, did the first track tests. So that will be really exciting. So please hang on and if you found any value in this video, please hit like Write a cheerful uh, comment if you like, it keeps me energized and uh, focused and, and um, willing to produce more videos for you guys. So, uh, till the next time!